Hey, how's it going? You're listening to the Palay Time Podcast, a podcast about comedy, stand-up comedy, and everything else along the way. And the idea behind this is because, uh, you know, global pandemic and stuff, we can't comedian. And without the opportunity to comed, uh, it got me thinking... My favorite part about stand-up comedy and attending shows and performing lineups is at the end of the show, uh, hanging out with the comics and standing in that magical circle where we spark up something magical and have a great chat and talk about stuff and talk shit. And uh, just got me thinking that would be the perfect opportunity to have a new comic come in every week and play around. So today... I have a new guest joining me, a very funny man, a good friend of mine, actually, and a um, multi-talented dude. He is an actor, he's a b-boy, he's a comedian, the very talented Mr. Ambrose Urine. Here he is. Thank you very much for having me, bro. It's nice to be here. Yeah, man. It's nice this to be is, here as well. fresh. There's an aircon in here. It's very fresh. Yeah, there's aircon. And and like you said, we were used to be standing in circles, and now we're at the circular table. I only exactly. just realized, even you brought us back to the circle. You know, I didn't even the, the table is round. It is round. It's like, um, didn't King Arthur have uh, a round table? Yes. He had like a round table and like a group of. Um, yeah. They weren't the merry men. That was Robin Hood's. Uh, no, but also group. in carpentry, in carpentry at the time, you weren't allowed to have corners. <laughs> They'd have your head for corners. Yeah. You went no, no. Is that a off. serious fact, dude? It's like you went In King Arthur's time. Yeah. Yeah. Corners were forbidden, bro. It had to be round. Because always there's there's always scallops around the corner. Yeah, yeah. If it's that's a the problem with the corner. Anyway, that's why you see so many roundabouts also uh, popping up in town. Roundabouts. Instead yeah. of like corners. Yeah, man. It's just the creative wheel that keeps giving. Exactly. The circle. But yeah, we are. Thank you. I, well, I, the, all I'm saying is thanks. This is nice to be at the circular table. Yeah, dude. No, we're still going to edit in some, 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 some background claps. That'll be nice. Yeah. Give it a vibe. Background claps, bro. But yeah. I mean, this is still cool, man. Yeah, no, the, this the, is dope. The background lighting and the, and the yeah. st- stuff that we, that's in the back here. Oh, it's a lot of cool things, you know. Yeah, I like that, man. That's fresh. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, it's, ooh, that's the architecture we, we had yeah. done um, like just last week. Yeah, right. yeah no, it's crazy. They gave yeah. me budget, you know. Um, it's, it's impressive. You guys have to come here. Come check it out. I'm doing well, Ambrose. Check it's, it out. Yeah. How are you, bro? How, how, they're going to see Jimmy some food here <laughs> in a minute. Just edit it in. <laughs> make, it, make it look cool. <laughs> CG you. I'm hungry. No, I'm good. I'm good, man. You should go organic, bro. Yeah, I mean that's not a bad idea, dude. I, I don't feel like my body, uh, agrees with um with like red meats anymore, man. And I'm a ty- I'm a I'm, my blood type is O positive. Apparently, O positive people, like your blood type is because obviously your blood type and your diet have a like a you know connection. And apparently, if you're O positive, it's really good to eat lots of red meat and alcohol. Like that shit's really good for you. And for a long time, I lived my life that way. And now it just doesn't red meat agree with and me, alcohol. Bro. Yeah, man. Like red meat and alcohol Sounds is really good like for blood. Sounds like whoever told you that doesn't want you around. That does kind of sound like something someone told me, right? It doesn't sound like I, it's something I researched. I don't like you, bro. Whoever told you it. red meat and alcohol, you apparently, have to eat uh, that. Apparently, yeah. That's that's <laughs> apparently what, you know, Okay. blood type. Okay, if that's... Okay, test it. Test it, see. I have did. You, have you tried, like, yeah. non-stop? Yeah, like, that was continuous. like... I'd say... All of my varsity years, yeah, which is three of them. <laughs> form school, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you went to a similar form school. Yeah, you went yeah, to. Yeah, no, I was. Yeah, I was in form school for two years, and then the third year I was supposed to. I could have done third year, mm. and then I got a a job on a series, and Damn. then I was like, it's third year or it's wor- real work. Seven months contract. They bro. Don't, they don't I don't think those exist much anymore. But yeah, That's a amazing. seven month contract. So you were at City Varsity. Um, yeah. 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 And then you were in your second year when you got that <laughs> yeah. nice. Yeah. Chris is just saying he was also at City Varsity. Alum- yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out. City Varsity, um when they were still in uh Kluif, They were in Kluif and then they were our our campus was even higher up in some other road. Don't remember the. Oh, yeah. I remember when it was in Clough. Yeah, it, it was different. It was where Relax. almost where f- uh, the fire and ice is up there now. 
yeah. there, that hotel. Yeah. It was up there, even in a factory next to some factories. Our some of our classes. Okay. Yeah. I, I understand that, like it, w- when a film school still relatively young, and then yeah. you know, like because things change so quickly. Space here and there. Yeah, mm. that's dope, man. Like every year, there's like improvements, and then you're like, yeah. if I was only a year later, we would have had a dope ass theater. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You know, yeah. but now they got Ruland. The whole of Ruland Street is Ru- yeah, <laughs> not the whole of it, but most there's of it. A, there's a, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, slowly, just that section, right? I don't just know. That, s- that section, but yeah. it's it's cool. It it's looks cool. dope. Uh, yeah, it looks, looks like a nice looks, school. I have to go visit again. It's yeah, like dude. That. Nice. But yeah, that's where I was. Um, that was my drama mm. schooling. So, so you, thing. so you went to? Did you go to drama school to or film school? Because you went to a film school, yeah. And they happened to have like a division Films. for performance. So like acting same, same for me, it was called acting for the camera. Yes, but it was so it was focused towards the the camera camera mm. acting, but we did do some theater work as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, we did. <laughs> you can believe that. Ooh, that ooh. yeah, <laughs> sultry. <laughs> ooh. Yeah, but uh, that was yeah. just mic mic thing. mic technique. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that it was fun. fun That's times. dope. And you did it. You also did. Yeah, some acting, similar vibe, bro. But like, I didn't like. I I I just I I didn't I didn't get a cool series job. <laughs> oh, okay. In third year. No, but that's cool. I want to talk about your series job. What 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 series was it? Shooting stars. It was 2010. It was the World Cup, and there was this Whoa. hype, and then ETV was coming up with a new series. It was a soccer series, and the team were called Shooting Stars. So I auditioned, and I got a small role for one of the team you know to be on the 11 starting 11 amazing dude <laughs> yeah. did you have any soccer training or yes i played as a oh, kid shit. i played i played hard dope dude i hurt my twisted my well not me but someone people stepped on my ankle a lot twice so i i, I quit soccer for that reason Disrespectful. but i played and i loved the game so dope. when that came up i was like yeah let me audition let me try fresh out of college into the thing ETV, boom, there we go. And then I just kept going with, yeah. But That's then dope. quickly I realized, okay, there's, there's slumps mm. where things happen and things don't. That's an interesting thing, dude. It's like, even though you came from like that place, like I think that's... You know, that's like normal for everyone to get to that like slumps, the slumps, the mm. slumps. And then you're like, okay. But I'm, that doesn't bother you know, me much. The slumps. Yeah. I Yo, man. The slumps is real, dude. Because, like, uh, <laughs> film school, because everyone there is also learning, like, another discipline and making film. And, like, you know? You know what I mean? So, everyone works together and then you make, like, you know, little short films and shit. And it really hypes you up, bro. Yeah. That shit hypes you up, man. Yeah. Like, if you if you like, doing well <laughs> in, these, in these little short films that no one else sees. <laughs> it's just you and your friends at film school, the dude. Film school, bro. Well, and then they lie, fucking bro. give out awards, bro. It's not a lie, but it's like... Yo. No, they give awards. They I give got out an awards. award also. I got an award, bro. You what you can do with that award? Put it on your fucking CV, dude. Yeah. If you have a CV, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like... The CV you still have to build. The CV you still have to build, for sure, man. Your CV only starts there, bro. Mm. But that should hype me up, man. Film school is practice, bro. It's f- that's what it is. Practice, yeah, practice, practice. It is practice. Pra- sharpening whatever the school Do you know is what it is for me? Like for me, wanna... I was like the only Indian guy. I think I was the only Indian guy that was is doing it? acting. I think I think I was. Really? Yeah, I think I was the only Indian guy. Wait, wait, acting. wait. That was in your class? In my acting class. Okay, why do you have to think? The, if, you, if you think back, then you... Now, I'm just trying to make sure because okay. like I... I don't want to overlook another Indian brother. You know what I mean? Okay, like that okay. would that wouldn't yeah, be that nice. Would be terrible, yeah. uh, but I don't think I think I or was sister. the only Indian guy. There wasn't any. I push. I can see that can now. You see say. now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> How did you have to think about the one and know about the other? <laughs> oh, dude, it's saying. just you know. I don't know, man. Like, um, <laughs> let's not get into that. <laughs> you had to think. Was there? Was there another bra- like if I had to think? Was there another bra called Ambrose in my acting class? Nah, there wasn't. Straight up, mm. you know. But if I had to think about it, if I had to say, was there another guy called Ambrose in your class? And I said, just let me. I have to think about it. Wait, was there or wasn't there? <laughs> I just have to think. 
you know, some things you know, you some things you'll just go, nah. But the thinking is where I go, why? Mm. I wonder why you have to think. But anyway, that's mm. that's just something to think about. Well, the thinking happening now. Yeah. What are we thinking about? Um, we're thinking about uh, developing developing things, developing new things. ideas and new concepts. Okay. Co- new and also new platforms. If I mean, if stages, it would be so crazy. What are they going to use the stages for? The all the empty stages and things. If these don't get used anymore, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's going to happen to them? Um. What's probably sport? hangings? What's for <laughs> your post-apocalyptic that world? Turn. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's okay. not enough food. <laughs> <laughs> your hectic. Um, I don't know, that could man. Be, mm. If they're not going to use it for performance, I really, you know, I think that stages you can we can develop stages into. I mean, look, the only problem is the people. These motherfuckers are infected. Okay, mm. we can't get too close to them. <laughs> Yeah. We don't want to interact with these. I'm just, no, I don't know, man. I'm taking this too. Co- what yeah. I'm saying is we can use a theater. We just need to find a way to make enough space in the room so that everyone's safe. You yeah. know what I mean? And then we can live stream the rest of the tickets. I just feel like we need to have a certain amount of people in that room to like bounce off of and like vibrate some energy. The amphitheater is also closed even, no? In the waterfront. I you can't know. even have a show there, even though the wind is blowing the southeast, it blows everything. But it, depending on where you're standing, it could be a tough day. Yeah. Tough day to be you. <laughs> you don't want to be <laughs> downwind. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess that's a bad idea. I don't know. No, it's, I don't know. See you, but now you see what's happening, though. I mean, even with amphitheaters. Look, so we have, to, we have to create a thing. Look, we have dude. to create a thing. So we were talking about dealing with comedy how comedies how comedians are going to deal with how they are mm. dealing with because i see um prince also is dropping something new and uh the locally now we're talking mm. local comedy um on quicker and stuff and people mark mark that did the the epic what was it how many tickets sold 70k Oh shit, dude! I did the maths on that one, and I remember looking he at did that. The epic. On my we don't have to go into like, his financials. No, not at all. <laughs> it was just like my but word. he did the epic, you know, like yeah, that was epic, that was dude. pretty crazy. And now is that is that, is that you know people forward? are going is that is that the vibe? Because you can also have still a small audience and then do the thing. Yeah. So can. that's 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 options. For sure. And um, but, but what do you what do you think personally for yourself? Because I know how I feel about online comedy, man. And like, if you if you don't have anyone in your room, man, you're talking straight into a camera, and it's just you. I don't know. I don't know. It feels awkward. It feels weird. It feels strange. But it's it's one thing you have to get used to. But how do you know a joke is good if it can't land? Yeah, if it doesn't land on anyone, you don't know. It's just landing in your kitchen. Like but that's why, that's, like, oh yeah, that's why I did landing. that concept of the laughter project where I sent, mm. I sent the video to people for them to record their laughter. So they record their laughter on their phone while watching the video on another uh, mm. medium. And then they send the laughter to me, we edit it. And yeah, we, s- we put the video out on YouTube. Mm. And then... It's still it, uh, we we time it so that it it sinks. So um, yeah, it worked. That's amazing. It worked. So there's ways. Um, there's and ways how do to you do it? It's just a it's, it's a bit of ad, like behind the scenes work. You it's have to the work. editing and the stuff is quite. So that's why we didn't put too many out. But yeah, it's a lot of admin. So we didn't do too much of it. <laughs> we only yeah. did a few episodes and we're like, okay, cool. We we played with the idea. So then, how do you go about casting your um, your talent? Do you, is it people you know? Or are they like laughs that you're looking for? I'm not taking the piss. I'm actually being quite I sincere about it. I send, I f- reach out on social media first. I'll ask mm. anyone willing to participate in a thing. Mm. I'll, I'll sometimes inbox or, um, yeah, just people in my circles or f- people on Facebook who, who mm. and friends, yeah. Yeah, yeah reach so, out. Yeah, I'll do that and then... Whoever replies, I'll send it to them. So I'll say like I need, I need ten, even though I need maybe six or seven. Mm. 
Mm. You know, so then if we get the 10, then we can sell three. If there's three left, we can use them for another episode or, you know, that type mm. of thing. So, yeah. And do you was, find, um, like, do you find that, like, no laugh goes to waste in those? Because, I mean, laughter's you putting you just chopping up laughs together. Yeah, that's you? interesting because there people just laugh wherever they want to laugh because uh. there's no one tell there's no I'm not there with them going up. Oh, you yo, you found that one, you got that one. Yeah, okay. I, they just they sitting in their room watching it on the screen reacting however they want. So So they reacting to your jokes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, laughing pretty much. And talking also. Some people also just spoke and we had to then tone, like, turn that a bit down, you know. Like, okay, don't heckle don't me do now. <laughs> <laughs> don't heckle me now in my own... <laughs> we send it to you as a thing. People are like, yeah, but why are you saying that in the... Th- in the- oh, okay, tone that down. We'll edit that. Chip. We just need the laughs. That's okay. We'll Yo, these, duplicate the laugh. These hecklers are crazy, hey? Yeah, like through the... Still here. Through the phone, bro. 5G. How how we <laughs> killed comedy and the hecklers survived, bro. The hecklers got five G, bro. They're out there, the fast downloading speeds and uploading. <laughs> I can, I'm sorry, man. That's so it, so yeah, yeah, that's what. That was one idea. Yeah. But I think there's many ideas that we can play with, man. Like this is an idea. This is podcasting. Nice. But what I mean, that's that's what up? I mean as well. I think this just is a substitute for that. Um, that's a very cool idea. It's just a substitute for that thing that we that we that we used to do. You know? Yeah. You know. We used to do. Yeah. Because I mean, even be- before that as well, like Ambrose and I used to. Uh, we uh, every Tuesday meet up and write like yeah. with a group of group of group of people. We man. have writing sessions. We have writing sessions, and that that was that as well. Like that, because th- even if you're not performing, just hanging out. And like running ideas and talking about shit, like it's uh, it's like half of that. Um, it's like half of that gratification. Yeah, that comes it's half the therapy, up. man. It's half the therapy. Yeah, Ooh. it's if you look at if you want to look at it that way. If you if you take comedy in that, in that thing, you know, in that mind state, whatever form, um, it's a th- for me that Tuesdays is is. I don't always come with the genius ideas on Tuesdays. I just come sometimes to socialize and also just come up with a couple of ideas, you know, a couple of new fresh things. Eat, mm. Listen to what other people have. I actually like um, working on other people's ideas also. That's uh, fun. That's fun. Because that's still, it's still me working, yeah. but it's helping someone else with, a, a, you know. Yeah. So that for me is cool. I don't. I don't want this I to sound pretentious, that. but like I feel like with creative creativity, you can say it however way you want, bro. It's like People a muscle, bro. <laughs> like you gotta creativity. You <laughs> creativity. It's a muscle, bro. Like if you don't, if you're not creative at all, then like writing a story or like writing something or like thinking of ideas and stuff, it doesn't flow, you know. And if also if you're boring, yeah, you'd be really boring as well. <laughs> <laughs> if you're boring bro, boring. then you, you're not gonna come up with fun stories <laughs> just do boring shit sit at home yeah. and eat your Mario and biscuits. by boring I just mean like you always say no to things you never see the light in anything you never see the joy in things you never you know those type of yeah you can't people don't want to hear stories of 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 people who don't bring some sort of also some light and some, you know, mm. if you're constantly bringing boredom, yeah, then people are gonna go, okay, Mr. Constant Boredom is here. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's, there goes the sunshine. You know what I mean? Here come the cloudy skies. Oh. Fuck. So, yeah, there's a lot to it though. There's a lot to the uh, to um a, keeping a, a audience. Keeping also. the keeping the crowd you know and how are you how do you feel like you're maintaining because i guess um we're human beings bro we have all kinds of things going on in life you know Mm. and like from comedy and (laughs) stand-up there's a certain level of like uh like quality of life you know what i mean it's that good it's that spur it's that taste for life shit man like you know and you get that shit regularly now you don't have it so what are you doing to 
um what are you doing personally what's your activity that brings you joy besides comedy right now i i garden bro i i, I actually spend a lot of time in the garden mm. yeah man i i do that i if i'm not i'm i'm a b-boy so i still train as well i i dance and but besides that i i'm in the garden i love spending just spending time in the garden around like yeah there's, yeah there's not much else you need other than taking care of your your plants and being with your plants and being with the mm. yeah ar- in in nature around nature that's <sighs> yeah yeah for me that's yeah another type of therapy if plants. you will we you know where else we would be joking around and being joyful in a comedy environment um even at even <laughs> at, <laughs> yeah i'm mean just at night just with some music <laughs> i know in the hotline bling ding 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 <laughs> you yeah. know yeah maybe not hotline bling but yeah. yeah that's cool man so the dancing helps the gardening dope and then yeah i mean there's 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 many things there's many things i sometimes still just um do the the uh, Medi- meditation meditation but not on not on a, like a serious like a f- you know like i i'll still just cleanse now and then and detox and take it easy you know i don't because meditate. also the yo the the often. you don't okay. um you don't not, have not to. often i also but don't often but not all sometimes the time. i get really grilled yeah. and i forget to change the song Yeah. And then I'm just sitting there in silence for a while. That's me that's me. That's, that's meditation. <laughs> and and there's <laughs> sometimes you forget, yeah, you forget what you're watching, you <laughs> zone out. That's meditation. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> like I, I said one. <laughs> zero thoughts, bro. Zero <laughs> thoughts. Like, Quieting your mind is a difficult task though. Yeah, man. I, I, I always think back at that time when I was in in primary school that when I first had zero thoughts mm. in a science exam. <laughs> and they go they they put the I saw the questions and immediately my mind went blank zero thoughts and I reached enlightenment Bro. but I, I but I failed I failed the the paper were you like but yeah zen you were yeah calm. I was zen zero thoughts bro see you have a gift my I friend I should have studied Same thing happened to me when I went to high school and then they make you write that like uh that exam bro that like uh entrance exam or whatever so they figure out where everyone's like knowledge is at you know yeah. and I think I always had this insecurity as well like I can I need to be smart because that's the stereotype Yeah That's and, the um <laughs> I'm not that like Afrikaans I went to an Afrikaans primary school but okay. because I went to an Afrikaans primary school I didn't give a fuck about Afrikaans Yeah Yo, okay. The real will understand those ones, you okay. know what I mean? <laughs> But I really didn't give a fuck, bro. And um I also like it made me nervous, man. Yeah. And um <laughs> when we got to that part I of the exam. I can understand that. Yeah, a little bit, you know. <sighs> so we're doing the exam and um <laughs> I uh I drew a blank bro I had a panic attack none of the shit ma- like the level of Afrikaans that was at this high school and I came from an Afrikaans primary school but I I'm starting to think that they went easy What on grade me. was it? Grade 8 beginning grade of high school Grade 8 Yeah like the very before classes even started the very beginning like orientation week yeah. my dude like where's your understanding of knowledge knowledge where's it at son and uh it was nowhere bro i didn't understand shit in that paper i didn't get it at all and i freaked out bro had a panic attack one of my first panic attacks at that time and shit, uh, it's looney tunes dog everything goes in slow and then there's just that you know mm. circle that's all folks and then you usually i usually pass out but at yeah. this time i didn't i didn't i just <laughs> i like i got up and i i thought i, I think i acted all hardcore but i was like that's... i'm not doing this uh, i left I left, bro. And the teacher was like, "What's wrong?" What's I'm like, no, "I can't. I'm just not feeling well. I don't, I don't feel well." Yo, yeah. I don't feel well. And then they told my parents. My parents like, "What's what's your fucking problem, bro? Like, you don't." I didn't know how to articulate. I had a panic mm-hmm. attack. But yeah, dude, zero, uh, drew zero, and then they put zero. me in the stupid class. <laughs> 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 I swear to you, bro, my class was the in stupid the, class. In the stupid class. That's what you were called. The only person that was Or failing Afrikaans. Or you calling yourselves the st- stupid no. class. Bro. I'll explain it to you, dude. The only person that was failing Afrikaans in the school yeah. was my best friend. He was yeah. in my class. 
We okay. sat next to each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And the teacher was really short, right? So you could read a book. You know they make you read books in yeah. Afrikaans. Like yeah. Just basic. Practice. Yeah, practice. So you could read a book like this and then duck your head underneath it. Yeah. And the teacher's so short, dude. She like cuts just below the book. Mm. So she doesn't know what's happening. So you could just take a nap right there. Because oh, you no were quiet else. reading. Yeah. Okay. I actually told that joke. I thought it was a funny joke. <laughs> we, we laughed as it, about that as kids. What uh, with the the part where you yeah yeah with this the teacher part where you, yeah. and how like she walks around and yeah. then you could oh it's so funny uh, she can't because he's sleeping dude I thought that was hilarious to me personally me and my oh, friends yeah, we yeah. laughed hard at that right yeah. and then the principal of the school checked that I liked stand up comedy and I was doing a routine right because I started stand up in high school and then he saw my routine and the routine was very racist right. I dressed it up as like an Indian guy, Bollywood vibe, and there was a tree, and it was just, I was pretending like I was going to do a song, and then I didn't do a song. It was just, it was a stereotype. That was the... Is there, the, is the there a video thing. of this thing? The, it's out there on YouTube somewhere. So you should put the link up above. Let's click over <laughs> here. <laughs> it was fucked up, man. But it was dope. It was actually really dope. Was, no doubt. How, how and then he, said, then he said, come and MC my wife's 60th. Right? Cause Wait, I like but then, do. but now you said it was. You said it was a race. It's a racist. It was, it was, yeah, it was. But like that was my angle. I was like, Who I was your pri- and your principal hired you then for that. Yeah, I guess he understood <laughs> the humor, and he's also from Durban. And his pitch to me was, you know, Jared, um, you, know, I'm from Durban, and you know, my wife and I, we just love the whole vibe. <laughs> you know, we'd love it if you came in MC to sixty. <laughs> Like, yeah, dude. Okay, I'll okay. do it, bro. I'll do it. Okay. Second gig ever, bro. Second time doing Woo! the thing. Yeah. I get there, bro. Woo! Wrote all my jokes down on my hand. Oh, that's dope. All on that's my hand. Fresh, bro. Right? And I was so sweaty and nervous. Mm. It's gone. It wasn't on my hand anymore. I almost fucked that up. It's all good, though. And then um, I ran out of jokes and I thought about that one about the teacher that was really short. Mm. And I was like, <gasps> okay, um. Um, the Afrikaans teacher is so short when you do this, and then she can't see you because you got a book in front, and it's really funny, right? And then she felt so bad for me, she started clapping, and then everyone else felt so shit for me because I was bombing, bro, like fucking choking hard. They all started the slow clap, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go now, um, and I left, bro. Yo. That was it. I cried so hard after that shit. You cried. I, yeah, dude. How old were you? 18. 17 17 oh. a chunk bro to smoke a That's cigarette by the side of the school <laughs> were you smoking then yes okay yeah so you, yeah enough for that you would need to you need to smoke mm. that's pack. that's actually when i started yo okay okay i understand <laughs> i understand yo but wait you that my whole thing is it feels like a setup man like he saw you. Mm. How long d- was he expecting you to do? MC. Yeah. So like an hour. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I did like 20 minutes for the first time because I was just in a vibe. Wait, do, 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 do. Backtrack. Yeah. How long did you do at the school? Okay. So this was a beauty pageant, right? Yeah. I, I didn't have a talent, bro. So I was like... <laughs> I'm just going to do stand-up, right? I thought to myself, I can write some jokes. This is going to be great. I have this whole thing in my mind, right? I'm going to do a Bollywood routine. And then just when they think I'm about to sing, I'll pull out a microphone and be like, ah, it's not, you guys are racist. I'm not going to do a stereotype. Okay, you know? okay. And cool. um, But my question is, how long were you on stage for? Before I did that. At the show. Yeah, at, at the, the show. <laughs> I did like 18 minutes. It was like 18 minutes. But this is including with the whole Bollywood thing so that you, I was trying okay. to do. And so you did it 18 minutes and this guy came to you and said, come do an hour. hour. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. This is what I'm Pretty saying. Much, man. You, uh, but but, he, but you did it. You, I, did, you did how long? I lasted about seven minutes <laughs> at, the, at the emceeing <laughs> thing. I lasted about seven minutes, and then they brought on the next act. I didn't know there was a next act, but I guess I was bombing so hard they had to fucking come up with a backup plan, bro. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. And then I went outside. I was having a cigarette. And the teacher that booked me, right? The teacher that was involved in this vibe, she came to me and she was like, no, bro. What the fuck, Jared? <laughs> you were so good last time. What yeah, the no. fuck? Yeah. No, Just of course. take another <laughs> cigarette. Go home. Like, no. this is... <laughs> bro. No, no, man. That's mad, bro. Did you, did you no, get paid? Did I didn't get, get paid? paid. No. I didn't get paid. But it I learned free. a lesson. Yeah, no. No. That's, that's a lesson learned for both parties. Yeah. Well, for I mean, him to not just approach Ren, like just yeah. kids doing 17 minutes to do hours. Get a professional. You a exactly. grown man. And he knew Nelson at that Higher time. Prof- he was cheap. He was being cheap. Yeah, though. dude. He probably asked Nelson because Nelson emceed the oh, previous yeah, Nel- thing. <laughs> Shout out to Dikaveya. <laughs> Shout out to Nelson Dikaveya. The best set I've ever seen in my life at age 17. It was the only set I've seen too. Oh, but wow. it was dope. <laughs> okay. Shout out Nelson. No, no, Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Nelson will tell you about wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. So, okay. Yeah. How many gigs did you do after that? That was the last one, dude. Then I started oh. going to armchair. I was like, fuck this. Okay. I need to get out there Oof. and see what's real. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah, but you learned there, no? One hundred percent, dude. I learned Seven some hard minutes. lessons. Never write your jokes on your hand because it will sweat away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just mad, bro. Yeah. No ways, man. I've had to. I've had to maybe in 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 a few occasions come up with maybe an extra twenty. Mm. Um, on the spot. I remember when I was I was called for Good Hope FM. They wanted uh, five minutes. And then I gave them five. Then they wanted a new five the next week. And then I didn't have. A, then I had to write a new five. Right. Woo! I went in there, bro, with made up things, things that I made up. Being on the beach, and there's fat people, <laughs> and it was bad. It was it was quite bad. I did it on the live radio, that whole set. How long ago was this? Long enough. Long ago Long enough ago. to not be anywhere in in the SABC change powers, I think, since then. <laughs> so, th- the records are gone. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening there in the SABC. So. But yeah, it's um, it's gone. It's gone. I'm glad it's gone uh, because I'm a new, a different guy, different comic. New comic, but same guy, yeah. but no, that's, new jokes. That's new good. jokes. Better jokes. It's so it's really it's really part. fortunate that the SABC is so unstable. Like it's a uh, it's a good thing. It's a good I, thing. I don't know about them, man. The SABC. I don't. I don't know. I don't know much about anything. The, yeah, really. like SABC yeah. and anything with the acronym. Before we move on to talking about the SABC, we're having a great conversation now about mm. getting into comedy. Yes. And while I have you here, because I know that you formed a, a comedy collective called the Class Clowns. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Class Clowns. And the Class Clowns. Yeah. Do you feel like you were also, like in your childhood, a class clown? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used to deny, but I deny no more. Mm. Yes, I think I, I was... um. Sneakily, the class clown. Sneakily. Sneakily. I was like the 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 class clown, who who knew when to be the class clown. If you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I would know danger. I like you know some guys don't know danger. Some guys just are clowns. Ha ha ha! And danger is there. The principal. Well, some guys. Some guys, some dudes, <laughs> some dudes, and then the principal's there, oh, no. and now danger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or not the principal, or someone, or so. But I was a clown in the way that I know I'm not gonna. I know no one's gonna. This is not gonna be a big thing. Yeah. Sometimes I got into trouble. You knew how to read the room. Yes, that's the thing. Mm. I knew how to, and I did. In grade, uh, was it seven, six or seven? I was actually also um, one of the teachers at my primary school called my, a friend, uh, Lance Lotte, his name was, and myself. They called us into a class to come do jokes for the for the, uh, for the the older class, the grade, uh, you know. 
I think we were grade three or four, four. No man, we were we were young. We were young and they were but above us. So we just came and told them jokes. Wow, that's an interesting tale. It's weird, bro. We yeah, did. I think yeah. Well, our how old were they? Like was, grade seven. Yeah, I think they were the grade sevens and we were like two grades, like grade three, four. It's no, it's five, six. It's five, six. Seven, Han shows just chilling. <sighs> yeah. Man, I'm bored. Yeah. Let's we get, need, let's we get need childish jokes. We need comedy. <laughs> <laughs> we need some jokes. I'm looking and for then some we, ca- we came in there and he went first mm. and he killed, bro. He had, you know, those old back in the day jokes. Um, there was a, you know, uh, yeah. Domian and Slumian, that type of thing. I don't even know. That was the joke at the time. And your mom, yeah. And. Then I came on and I didn't have prepped, mm. good enough prepped stuff. I had some prepped stuff, but then when they ran out and the, they were still like, no, more and, and more. Then I started ma- making up stuff on the spot. This, I'll never forget it. In my life, I, of the things, you know, you in your life you have memories where yeah. certain things just don't leave in your memory. It's just tattooed there. I was standing in front of that class, full class, and I was just trying to thumb suck jokes. Like, yeah, but it was a story. I don't know what the story was about anymore, but the story was going, but not going. Yeah. And also at some point people were like, huh? Because the story would just plot twist and plot twist and change. And it went nowhere. And they gave me an applause for being there. But it felt good. And I felt I felt good. That's the beginning, bro. But then later that year, because then they knew I was a bit, you know, funny, we did a play together. Nice. And in the play, I actually did way better than in the jokes. And I killed the play. The play was like, whoa. And then everyone was like, That's this, the guy. This, this guy has got something there. Yeah. And then, but then now we're all grown ups and got kids and things, and dreams are gone. <laughs> and but yeah, I'm still here. You're I'm still, still here. here. Yeah. That's what's important, bro. That's dope, man. That was like thirty years ago. Whatever, dreams are changed. People are new, different. People have lost hope. Some have, are still holding on. But I mean, like people yeah, are flippy am. floppy, bro. And but yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I am in the entertainment industry, still trying to do things, and it, it's not gonna stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still, I'm still gonna be here for Dope, a while. Dope, man. Dope. Got plans. Keep those plans, bro. I'll yeah, see man. you there. Away for sure. Yeah. yeah, man. Definitely. I mean, I'm, you know, Oop-de-woop. I'm probably gonna be around. I don't know what else I'm gonna do if I don't do comedy or something. Don't go there, man. You're gonna yeah. be here. You fine. I don't have a backup plan, dude. Like I didn't fucking go. I didn't think that mm, far. You know what? Like I left high school knowing that I wanted to do something in entertainment. I you knew went, that, you man. did acting. Yeah, like and I, you only did acting, and then you just literally that. You, that is what you studied, and you and you in didn't a study sense, I haven't else. actually yet worked in anything besides mm. entertainment because I've been emceeing since like varsity. So okay, so same same as me, same yeah. as me. I've only I was a dancer before an actor. And I've always just been doing dance gigs to earn money also. Before mm. that, I was dancing. It was still entertainment yeah. on stages and doing things. Um, and then acting and then um, stand-up. But I've only also done entertainment. But it's not... I feel like we can. We, we just need to redirect. If, if something doesn't work within entertainment, you can just shift your... Mm. You know, if you have another a lane, you can go to within that. And all those lanes are so close, like yeah. it's easy to just shift into. Just to navigate into yeah. something and, yeah. And and also now you've got a network within that, um, those circles. Yeah. So use those networks also. Yeah. Yo, yo, just Back a shout circles. out to my network, Chris. Shout holding out. it down there in the booth. In the network. Know. Shout out network. Keepers. Shout out to Chris. Yeah. Shout out Chris. <laughs> Um, Give thanks, Chris. This ad was brought to you by Chris. Shed Studios. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Diesel, Diesel, Black. Chris, Chris, um, Chris got my sound messed up last time. Thanks, yeah, Chris, yeah. for thanks, Chris. Out this time. <laughs> Shout out to yo, Chris. Yo, last time, last time we sat here for forty-five minutes, uh, and I thought I was speaking some truths. Yeah. And we didn't get any of it because I wasn't plugged in. Thanks, Chris, for that. <laughs> for 
for <laughs> everything you put me through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, um, yeah, man, the yeah. the things the things that we are doing are fun, and I'm enjoying it. I've got a podcast also. I'm I'm starting the Balanced Podcast. Dope. Um, so I'm trying to layer my social media things as much as I can, also, because that's that's where. You know, in terms of my media, that's where I'll be pushing that. Um, I'll be pushing everything into YouTube, um, my website, um, AmbroseUrin.co.za. Plug um, it, plug it, bro. S- point yeah. somewhere. Point somewhere. Will yeah, it's it's over here. <laughs> there is it's somewhere there. Somewhere here. Yeah. So um, there's the website, there's my YouTube and the Instagrams and things, and. Um, yeah, for now though, like my shows for for this this period January of 2021 are unfortunately um, not going to happen. And I had about 6. Dude, your schedule looks dope. My schedule was was loaded. Mm. Um but now it's not loaded. It's unloaded. So we unloaded it again and we'll load it at another time. Ah, I'm not fully loaded. Ah! <laughs> ah! I'll be back. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those moments, I love. I just wanted to do one of those also. Yeah, you can do some voices. Go crazy, bro. What, what? Oh, no, no, no. Not a voice. I can't do voices. You know, man. No. <laughs> I wish I could because I love voices. You're a very, I, I you're a very energetic c- comedian, man. Like, you have, you're, you're, you're very animated when you want to be. And then... You're also not when you when you don't want to be. <laughs> it's just, okay, mean, come on. But, but I mean, I like I like the way that you you utilize those performance tools of yours. It's before, yeah. Performance yeah. element for me is is it's it's a it's a part of it that I that I can't neglect. It's there. Yeah, I can neglect it if I want to, but I won't because it's fun. Yeah, it's um and and it, that's what makes it fun for me. And it gives Not your comedy the, so much the, flavor, man. A well, nice flavor. Like, it suits you so well, man. And, uh, you know, you get comedians that are, like, just just comedians, man. Mm. Like, they just talk, man. They just told brilliant stories. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, Joe, like Joey Diaz, tell, dude. Yeah, they tell, tell awesome Just great stories. Awesome stories. Doesn't, like, do voices or, you mm. know... Like mm. super animated and like these mm. little performance pieces within mm. your jokes where you act things out and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But everyone's well, got their everyone, own flavor. Everyone has a thing. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's the beauty of it's comedy, bro. It's 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 humor. It's yeah. jokes. You know. Um, who's to judge a joke? You know, if if people are laughing, ha ha ha. Yeah. I mean, not the the joke, but the form that it comes in. You know, yeah. like if it's in a one line or. A, guy with the guitar or something if people are laughing that's the that's the mm. joke that's that's the thing it's the craft it's crazy and no one can take that shit away from you if you have an audience man if you have an audience yeah. and people want what you're doing no one can take that shit away from you no ways yeah you've got it thanks bro oh, you yeah. got it too i've always admired the sure, way that bro. you um create you we mentioned this in the previous podcast thanks chris <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. We mentioned Chris. this in the previous. Now we have to say things again, <laughs> but it's okay. No, but I, I I like the way that you you create your own platform, man. <laughs> I like the way you create your I, own platform, bro. You know, on that note, the only the thing that I realized is that as a actor or as an artist, as a dancer, the only way you're gonna really thrive is if you own whatever everything that you ca- you create if you own if you own the things that you are putting out there you know what i mean like mm. if you if you're not giving it to someone else to do the thing and do the thing if you create the company that does the thing then now you are in that position it puts yeah. you in that position so i've i've there you go you pay, yeah you, well not really not, well I mean, you got not, not, some tax there it's I don't not know. it's <laughs> not yeah not the governmental way we go the <laughs> or the democratic way as they say we're not going the democratic way we're going like um according to who who works in the within the company and the structures and you know yeah. structurally you you you'll set that out according to your business but 
for me it is it's just important now after learning all these things is that i have so much knowledge bro after 30 okay i'm i'm 34 but i've been i've i've been in in the entertainment entertainment industry since i was dancing that was maybe 2002 2000 and like that time i i used to in 2003 we we did a Grahamstown festival we performed there and that was the first taste of getting the badge and the thing and the being an artist you know mm. sitting backstage and waiting with your crew and you know going on you know and then things and then i came to when well i'm from cape town but then when i came back to cape town with the cruise here we started working and you know um i just realized over all these years over everything i've done it's time to to control what i'm doing mm. and what i what i feel like i'm want to do so there's still a lot that's gonna happen that i'm still gonna work on but uh, yeah owning and taking a hold of the the whole aspect of my entire comedy career and business career yeah that's that's important for me going forward right now oh yeah dude that's a it's a really mature approach to take with you know i mean you're also like 10 years older than me so do yeah, do man. it now i guess do I'm, it now I'm, you're yeah, doing I'm, it I'm now the, on, the, on the way you're doing it now already so now just go the like make it official you know business wise type of thing it means also sitting with a lot of boring paper things and reading contract things and but you have to yeah. that's what you have to do honestly dude that just sounds like the like needed structure in this yeah strange yeah yeah, yeah. You know, so uh, free yeah flowing life of entertaining you know yeah because it's fucking like if you don't have shit happening you don't have shit happening yeah then what then, then what? now what now you just someone who doesn't have anything Reading happening papers and doing a bit of admin is such a small price to pay for that structure yeah that tiny tiny bit of structure exactly man yeah and 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 just starting things start something to start something is important so I I when I started the comp like Rotson Productions, the company that I that I direct um, with my partner Alice, I'm plugging her as well. <laughs> Shout out Alice. Um, yeah, we when we when we, when I started that in 2018, I didn't really know what what's happening with business, you know. But then I learned. I just started it, and I and I kind of took care of what needed to be taken care of. As I learned things on like, okay, in Joburg when I was there, how are these people, how is everyone running things? How is people getting like massive industrial type factories to have a studio inside and do whatever inside the studio and earn an income? And, you know, how are people working like this? So that's the knowledge now that I've come back with and I'm going, hmm, time to put all these things on the table and go, okay, what can I do here in the way that they did it there you know how can cape town still work for me in that way because yeah in a way you do also want to leave your city but in a way you want to build in your city as well if if it could be you Dope, know man so like the that infrastructure that you see somewhere else you wanted for your city and your your industry if you yeah. could if if it's yeah. possible why not so that's also a thing i'm thinking of um but while also I need I'm gonna start anyway traveling with balanced when the when everything opens up then I'll mm. be hitting all the cities and yeah that that way I'll still be in touch with every city yeah dude just and get it man stay connected and stay performing yeah that's dope man well I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm sure <coughs> whoever we have listening would be keen to see some balanced plug your stuff man plug yeah, your yeah, handles yeah yeah there's some there's some clips coming out soon some footage um there'll be a show that we're putting out real soon on uh quicket even perhaps quicket uh or whichever one of the streaming these platforms um yeah balanced it's gonna it's it's coming soon and it's gonna be it's gonna be um we will be putting out just the this version zero zero nine so we are number nine right now and we are moving our way towards a hundred shows that's what that's the commitment for the show i'm doing at the moment yeah yeah Dope, man and um and uh yeah it's a uh, what we're gonna put out is little snippets instagram facebook at ambrose uren and the spelling and stuff you're you're gonna put it 
Somewhere over here. here no. Somewhere over because here. Because I like here. Don't disturb here. Yeah, the Put architecture is way too good. Yeah, it's too nice here. Yeah. yeah. On that side. But yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's all gonna yeah, it's yeah. all gonna come together this year. Well and AmbroseUrin.co.za. That's plugged. Dude, plugged. thank you for joining us. Thank you, bro. This was cool. All Very right. Cool. That wraps it up for play time. Thank you for listening and goodbye. Peace and love. Oh yeah, cheers, dude. Shot, man.